A flow chart is a logical maze that basically says, if this happens, then this happens, then this happens. If that doesn't happen, then this happens, and so on and so forth. The idea of a flow chart is integral to problem solving, and we can use a flow chart to help us with problem solving and shooting. When a shooter makes a mistake or misses a shot, what usually is remembered is the last event that transpired. But in actuality, there was a chain reaction of events, a natural progression that occurred. By examining what happened in reverse, and then by asking a series of questions of why these events happened, we can expect to get to the grassroots of the problem. This, of course, assumes that we answer all the questions correctly. We'll use some examples to illustrate this idea of problem solving. These following scenarios are situations that I encounter daily when coaching. Illustrating the mistakes, the subsequent assessments, and the corrective solutions. Let's assume, in the first example, that a fictional shooter is attempting a shot at high three. He's just missed this target, and he's missed out in front. Too much lead, and in conjunction, he's come out of the gun. The analysis should be, he needs less lead. And he probably needs to keep his head on the gun. But this analysis only addresses the end result, and not what actually occurred, and we produce this end result. Through the use of our conceptual flow chart, you should be able to follow the sequence of events that caused this miss. So, the last thing we saw was the miss on high three, and it was in front, and the head was off the gun, which could have also caused the miss to be a little bit high. But why did this happen? Well, the gun was accelerated just before the trigger was pulled because the shooter was behind the target. And if the gun speed was widely increased, this created the excess lead, and in this desperate grasp for lead, the arms pushed the gun away from the face. So already, what we've determined is the head raise was not coming out of the gun as much as it was the upper body creating greater gun speed to obtain some type of lead. 